Hello everybody, this is John from Diary of a Trader and I have another great fantastic video to go over with you today. Today I want to go over uh, in this video a, a uh, service called Coinigy. Now you may or may not have heard of Coinigy but it is a pretty interesting and a pretty uh, fantastic service. It is essentially a, a mobile and a desktop platform uh, for people who, who you know trade quite a bit are pretty serious about their trading and have multiple exchanges um, there are uh, different charts balances api connections uh, for everything that you would need to look at all these multiple markets so instead of having uh, you know a whole bunch of windows open for uh, different exchanges and prices uh, it is all under one roof right here um, one of the nice things about it is that the charting is all the same here so they have uh, connected with uh, trading view and trading views charts are for everything and i want you to just take a look on the left side of the screen here these are all the various exchanges that you can take a look at there are there are quite a few uh, if you're a u.s uh, resident like myself then some of these you are not able to go to and uh, some of them you can so here's like polonix and if we select polonix we can look at you know maybe the uh, etc btc pair and that'll bring up the chart. Or if we uh, like to trade on Binance and we want to look at the, for instance, the Cardano Bitcoin pair, then we can do that. Now, what's really interesting about this is that, uh, and this is probably one of my favorite features, is that the, the book over here has a great graphical representation and it's a lot deeper and easier to read than your, uh, even the advanced uh, section on, um, on, uh, the, the the Binance site and I think that really puts into uh, a lot of people who, who are more visual traders or at least who have a hard time reading a book that this is a, a little bit easier you, you you can also see the quantity and the amount at, at a certain price level uh, sometimes a lot better uh, horizontally than vertically but you can still if you want to you can still observe the book here but this is the other part that is really fantastic is when you look down below you see you have the bids and the asks and you can see that they automatically detect where some sell wall and buy walls are at so if we're looking here at uh, it says walls at point uh, at, at 14 satoshis we can we can look down below and see there is that wall that was identified or more recently here at 1333 we can see the quantity in Bitcoin that is held up there all right this is actually this is a pretty awesome and they, they actually delineate on the screen here as well vertically those price levels and amounts it's a very very sophisticated and, and a uh, very very uh, transparent way of looking at the these markets in fact one of the more liquid markets if we were to look at it like for instance uh, bitfinex if we want to look at the uh the uh bitcoin pair but they do xbt on there it is xbt well you know what i might have got that wrong sorry about that btc usd there we go and we can see how, oop, reset the zoom, we can see how much more liquid and active this market is here. If we're looking at the book, we can see there are the significant amount of buy walls. Uh, for a lot of folks, looking at Bitfinex is a more uh, effective way to kind of get a broader view. It does have a lot of substantial volume. Uh, it is sometimes questioned how authentic the the amount of, of uh, tethers traded here, but um, nevertheless, we can we can see these order values and these book values uh, uh, pretty nicely compared to other sites, even the, their own exchange. But we're really not limited to just looking at these markets. What's really fantastic is if I want to go back to Binance here and I want to look at the Cardano Bitcoin pair, for example, you know, I, if you connect your API, and I'll show you that here in a moment, but I can, I have my Bit or Binance exchange attached here, 
and you know it'll it, it's letting me know what kind of orders I can do um, and I can set an order or I can do a market order right away with buy now and sell now so if I'm looking at this I see that ADA is trading here if I want to sell some of my Cardano I could say well I want to sell yeah sure maybe I'll sell 5% of the Cardano that I have and I can hit sell now it'll ask me if I'm sure yes and there we can see there's the order history right there and it pops up as well that the sell order has been placed and it'll it also alert me when I leave the page here if it got triggered or not all right let's take a look at some of the apps that they have in here so they some of them are grayed out because they are not quite finished with them yet uh, if you just look on the bottom left here you can see that this news just came out that is actually one of the great features uh, that, that they have is the news wire and that'll pop up another site here and the news is fantastic the news wire when this pops up and it pops up frequently a, a lot of the news uh, uh, sites that like CoinDesk um, CCN um, even uh, uh, Forbes sometimes they'll pop up here if they're related to cryptocurrencies and we can get a, a, a nice frequent update throughout the day so I actually like to have this entire page pulled over to another one of my screens and I, I can get into uh, uh, you know seeing the news a lot quicker and faster than uh, th th than uh, you know just trying to look for it at the end of the day or on my phone it's really nice to see those alerts pop up right away other apps that they have um, the uh, the arb matrix well we'll get to the arb matrix in a second the Google Sheets this is a really nice option that you can have where uh, you can manage your exchange and wallet balances directly with Google Sheets. It's a very neat and organized uh, uh, format that they've come up with. If you've ever wanted to try to organize your your crypto assets according to exchange and according to the balances existing and the trade history, this is a phenomenal tool that they have. The other we have is um, it's the uh, crypto ticker. This is a this is a uh, an, an add-on for your browser. It's for Chrome, so it'll keep the ticker up there for you. It's a widget. I don't actually use this myself. Uh, there's really no reason for it because I'm an active trader and I, I see it happening all the time. We also have SMS alerts. Now these are interesting because uh, this is the part. One of the things that I'm not a huge fan of is that. Uh, you're entitled to five dollars worth of credits each month and you know this is a monthly fee for using coinage and I, I feel like if you are if you're if you're doing the you know the yearly or the or the semi-annually or quarterly I feel like you should not have to you know that, that should be added into the premium of the of the service because you know, well, we'll get into how much this costs, but it's about twenty-two dollars a month. If the, and and that that's for some that's a substantial amount, and for a lot of others, even if it's not substantial, it may not be necessary for you, especially if you only trade cryptos every once in a while, or you know, you're really not interested in 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 a lot of the other services that are involved with Coinigy. So there's another news article that popped up. It's a very uh, uh, awesome awesome feature of this of this. Uh, uh, service so you have the sms alerts feature requests you can you can ask about some things but this is probably the bread and butter awesome of of of, of what i like about this and uh, it's, it's difficult to execute and you, so this is the arb matrix so this is this is arbitrage and arbitrage if you're if you're unfamiliar with what it is you've probably heard of it before hedge funds are known for their arbitrage basically you are you are uh, uh buying and selling something uh, on two different exchanges and you're profiting on the difference so for instance on GDAX let's look all the way over here so GDAX says that um, I can buy Bitcoin at six thousand four hundred and thirteen dollars and I can sell it on Lake for seven thousand thirty three seven thousand and thirty three dollars 
Now, that looks great, but we really have to understand, well, why is there such a massive spread? Well, this exchange lake, they have a huge, you, you get charged a lot. It's not profitable to make this, this change. You know, there's, there's a Exmo here. Um, you know, the volume's not very appropriate. And we're not limited to just the Bitcoin pairs. You know, we can look all the way down here, for instance, you know, Bitrix, we've got it. Uh, Bitcoin has a, <clears throat> has a difference of 0.56 per coin here. So some of these spreads are not uh, very large. And in fact, the more this market matures and the more it gets active and the more that things are operating a lot like a Forex uh, exchange, then we're going to have less and less arbitrage opportunities between exchanges because they'll become uh, a naturally more connected, not centralized, that's a bad word to use, but they'll just be more interconnected and, and deviations in price will be, well, they won't be very significant. But that doesn't mean that they don't exist. For instance, I was just looking today because I like to do some swaps every once in a while with um, ADA. It's one of my favorite pairs to trade. So... Binance and Bitrix this morning they had almost a 0.78 spread and so the the uh and, and it's very cheap to trade uh there there's the fee to 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 trade to send Binance back and forth is very fast and it's very very uh cheap and so the it was actually affordable and I was able to execute it fast enough to trade uh, some Binance on Bitrix and vice versa. So you can buy that 1324 on Binance and sell it at Bitrix at 1333. And so that is a, a, a great example of um, of uh, the of this arbitrage opportunity. There's others, for instance, uh, a fast coin to um, send back and forth that is really cheap is is steam steam for example so hit b is uh got a got a pretty large spread there uh between uh binance and hit b uh, not a very large one between binance and bitrix or poloniex and again some of these exchanges you won't be able to to trade these on we could see if ethereum classic has any large differences not really nope all right, so that's the ARB matrix. You can sort them by spread, spread percent. That's actually a, a, a really nice um, a way to organize things. One thing that they do, in, in case you find this confusing, is that on the left side, if you can read this, it says that from this exchange, you buy it, and then you sell it to this exchange up here. That's what that's what we're reading. And you can adjust the, the grid to be sorted a certain way or you can scale the grid. You have to click this a few times in order for it to uh, uh, come back to normal. There we go. And so that's the arbitrage matrix. It's a, it's a pretty fascinating tool. Uh, this by itself is is worth it, I think. I, I, I really, really, really enjoy this service because this is a, nobody else has this. This is a fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, tool in your trading tool belt. And that does it there for the apps. Now we can go to markets. That's the first page that we default to. And we can see did my my cell did not get triggered yet. That's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. But markets again, we can we can observe uh, any number of exchanges and we can buy and sell them, but only if we have our APIs connected. Additionally, we have alerts here on the market. We can set a certain price. For instance, let's say I want to know uh, if we go past um, 1350, you know, I want an alert there and uh, it'll give you a series of options for, for sounds. <laughs> Pretty classic. I really like that one. So I'm going to set that alert. And I tell you what, some of these alerts, when they go off, uh, the sounds that they've selected for you to use are pretty, pretty loud. So they're so they're very nice. But what's really fantastic over here is that they have all-time high, monthly high, the weekly high, weekly low, all-time low, 
uh, they, they have these settings here that are just fantastic. So you don't have to actually search for them yourselves. I mean, they've, the, the folks who have built this, they, they must be traders themselves because they have thought of a great many things to really speed up the process of, of being a trader and, uh, and just really simplifying the process uh, of, of, of all these price levels and finding the important ones. Economy, this is another phenomenal uh, feature is that you know the all of the social media so anthread twitter facebook linkedin google forum wallet uh, the their their website the you can click on their white paper the block explorer i don't know if they actually have this app running or not um nope it just brings that up so new market discovered Qtum, see this is another news thing. Uh, Qtum has been listed on Poloniex, or the uh, Qtum and Ethereum uh, trading pairs on Poloniex. This is, see, again, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal um, uh, tool. And so this says mining reward confirmations. We don't know any of that yet, but we could find one that we, that we do know of. So uh, I'm trying to think of one off the top of my head, maybe XMR, uh, if we could use that that is Monero confirmation time one to two minutes algorithm crypto night consensus type proof of work POW proof of work uh, another that we could take a look at is maybe TRX actually they don't have any information there steam not a lot of information And we can also write notes. Now these are these are actually really fantastic. And if we want to, we can save those notes. And whenever we come back here, we can we can see the notes that are there. And it's just a really amazing uh, service that they have. As far as on the on the order book here, we can change colors. We can put alerts. We can set an order. Uh, it's just a, a really fantastic way to look at. Uh, the entire crypto sphere it's you have all of these exchanges sitting right here along with the news popping out at you it's just a it's just a phenomenal uh, service now we could also manage our alerts if we wanted to we can check the alerts based on the exchange so we set an uh, alert for uh, a, a binance and that's set, but we can also set them for various uh, exchanges to get their price alerts. And balances will tell you uh, your, you know, it'll give you the balance on your, uh, on whatever exchange you're on. It'll tell, it'll tell you, you know, held means that that these are resting orders waiting to execute for sells or for, uh, for, for you know existing sell orders. You can go to chart view. And you get a really beautiful graphic of what you have available and then where what the exchange distribution is okay very awesome awesome platform settings api accounts your favorites two-factor authentication that is a big duh you should definitely definitely do the two-factor authentication to log in here um, and then your preferences you can adjust how you want to uh, get alerts either by email, text. You know, if the news bulletin, blockchain updates, definitely probably want that checked. I don't know why that wasn't. And um, yeah, it's just a, it's just a phenomenal uh, service and, and program. Now, let's talk about the cost. How much does this cost? You know we've got we've got a couple options that we're talking about when we want to discuss the cost of a service like this so we have three options here we have the free uh, uh, which is just the trial and then we have the pro trader which has everything else that we looked at and and what we went over what it doesn't offer is the enterprise api access and their their really really uh institutional grade data feed and that is just you know that that is probably not something a, a normal crypto trader investor is going to need 
But if that is something that you're interested in, you know, that is the that is the fee, 100 bucks a month for that data package premium. So that does it for me, folks, for this video. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and useful. You know, please reach out to us if you have any questions and, uh, you know, we'll be happy to answer them. Uh, thank Again, thank you. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your trading day. And I look forward to speaking with you in our future videos. Bye-bye.